Hello, this is Maker J1, and here's my hydroponic garden. It's doing really well. Um, I've had it running for about a month now, and um, here's the whole setup. I don't think I've showed you guys this before, but um, I have this. Um, this is the backlight from an LCD panel or TV, and that's working really good for a um, light over it because we don't really get much light in here because the overhang is too much on the house, so it gets very, very little light, even though there's windows all the way around. But um, so here's the um, solution bucket here. This is just a five gallon bucket. And it has about two gallons in it right now. Um, this is the second time I've had to fill it up. So it's used about eight gallons. Um, but with a little pump here, it just pumps the solution into the bottom there. And this tube here is flush with the bottom of the, um, the container here. And this is like a cement mixing um, container. And then we have another little overflow right I don't know if you can see that, there's a leaf in the way. There's a little overflow tube right there. And it's just in pea gravel. But we, um, because you can't really pick the lettuce while the light is on there, um, we let it grow for a few days and then we take the light off. Um, that works really good. But here's the timer, so that's the light timer. And then the other one is the solution timer. It turns on four times a day there. So it works really good. Um, but I just have, um, per gallon, I have one tablespoon of um, the solution per gallon. I believe it's one tablespoon. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think it's one tablespoon. Unless it's teaspoon. One of those two. But, yeah, so it works really good. All right, here's a nice shot with the, um, the light off. Um, I've got lots of different kinds of lettuce in here. I've got... Um, Romaine and arugula, lots of arugula. We don't like the arugula so much, but it's still pretty good. Um, and then over here, I believe this is either Swiss chard or um, collards, I forget. But there's yellow and um, red of that kind. And then there's some spinach over here. And over here we've got some basil. Um, but it all grows really nice in here. There are a few kinds, like this kind here it doesn't... I don't know if that's got singed on the light or what. I think that one kind doesn't really like so much light because there's a few leaves in here that don't look good. But the way this works is the pump is in there and so the pump, when it shuts, well, the pump line is flush with the bottom and there's a screen over top of it so stones don't go down it. Um, but when the pump turns on, it starts pushing the liquid up and it just keeps pumping till the, till it starts overflowing. So it goes out of the overflow hole and I've got it down here on the side there so it doesn't make splashing sounds um, so it's quieter and then when the pump turns off the water just goes back through the pump because the pump isn't spinning anymore so the water can just flow back through and that's how it empties it out so that the so the plants aren't swamped so it works pretty good um, I used to have it so that there was a little hole in the bottom of the uh, um, in the bottom of this a tiny little hole and then the pump line would come up here, but that didn't work so well because it took too long to drain out and the, the hole would get clogged up. So that didn't work so well, so I upgraded to a better better version. Um, but I've had this for actually quite a few years, but I haven't run in a while. Um, but So yeah, it's been growing for about a month and it's doing really well. Alright, so this is about two days from um, the last video I made, so we ate most of the lettuce here. So time to put the light back on, I suppose. But you can see the gravel down there. It's just normal pea gravel. There are some rottenish leaves down there, but like that one's got a little bit of mold on it. But I think it should be pretty good. So, so yeah, um, that's about it. Thanks for watching.